Uh, tell me, Manuel, if I pronounce it right, Day Tripper slash Lady Madonna from the Beatles. Here we go. It's a guitar player, I assume. <laughs> started right away. It sounds more like an intro, but... the slide taps on the guitar on the strings actually to give some of some kind of percussion uh, effect on it and this reminds me a lot of Ali Bata the way he plays I mean not really technique technique wise but it's the only other first guitar player that I see um, making covers with like a voice included in this I mean the voice melody included in this and such with some kind of percussion um, so very interested in this and I think he uses some like thumb picks Interesting. So he uses a lot more staccato notes right now. Um, and beforehand, you hear sometimes the, the, the slight tremolo in between when he uh, slightly bends with his fingers on the string and plucks it. Let's see. Here. More like that. <laughs> Wait, well, was that him laughing? Because <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> Did you hear when he strummed that chord, the strings for the chord? It was not, when you strum fast, it sounds like one chord. But the way he used it right here was slightly slower, which, um, in which you hear the separate strings just a bit more. So it sounds a little bit more like an arpeggio, uh, which is like a broken chord, basically, but it's a, a very fast arpeggio. Right here. Like that. He has that a couple of times as well here. Yeah, and the chords that he plays right here are just played as one chord, like, just fast. It's not like... Before we heard, like, when he went over the strings, and it's slower than just strumming one time. You don't, basically don't hear the, the notes separately. In these ones. Here. Almost done. Yeah, you, so he, you, you see him play the bass with his thumb uh, on the upper part of the necklace on his guitar. And then the melody, it's not really melody, but like the chords, he plays underneath it. It's it's unique because he plays the melody on the bass. And usually you would say you play it higher on the on the neck. <laughs> Woo! Did you see the slide tap on the front of his guitar there? Yes. Woo, man, that run. Yeah, 
so a lot of the notes that he plays are plucked actually uh, and, and, and are not hammer-ons or pull-offs on the guitar though a couple of them are but like he plays a lot of notes uh, whilst like when I react to Ali Bata which has been a while uh, he uses a lot of hammer-on and pull-offs uh, when he plays uh, and the advantage of that is that he can play a lot faster without actually having to pluck all the strings with every note uh, but that's that's a conscious decision you mostly <laughs> an arpeggio again like woo! oh that that was a very good example from uh for the more like pull up techniques uh the way he did it there uh but we saw the strumming like that as well again uh the drum over the strings like like almost an arpeggio again like this and now those were almost all pull offs More plucking here. Again. Interesting rhythm here. A lot of pull offs again. Woo! My God. Feels it. He's, he's going faster. Oh my God. Woo! Oh my God. That's some fast trimming, isn't that's not easy. most mostly all of them were strummed were actually plucked the strings oh my god it seems kind of stressful <laughs> Was kind of crazy. <laughs> that was kind of crazy. I see he have, he's having fun with this too. He's feeling the vibe. Oh my god, that was kind of crazy. Uh, so, Lisa, thank you so much for the. Oh no, that was not Lisa. Um, <laughs> Catherine, thank you so much for the suggestion, uh, Key of Light. That was uh, something else, yeah. A different way of playing than Ali Bata, uh, but crazy nonetheless. <laughs> 